ODM leader Raila Odinga on Sunday refuted claims that he was involved in running affairs of the Jubilee government, distancing himself from its failures. Speaking after a church service in Mombasa County, Raila dismissed Deputy President William Ruto's claims that he is the reason for the collapse of Jubilee's Big Four agenda. The former premier now wants the government to put in place measures that will allow the full reopening of the economy. Sisi tumepeana amri kwa wabunge wetu wa sukuma hii mambo ya kufungua uh, inchi na vile vile mambo ya chanjo. This comes even as billionaire businessman Jimmy Wanjige, while speaking in Nyeri County, said he would compete with Raila Odinga for the ODM presidential ticket. The party's constitution is very clear. The presidential candidate of ODM shall be chosen from a national delegates congress every five years. We shall be on that ticket. <laughs> On the other side, ODM legislators in a different forum in Nairobi County told of the deputy president for his sustained attacks on their counterparts, telling him to take responsibility of his role in government. If we are going to have a president leading one side of the government and his deputy on the other side of the government, we are saying this is a very dangerous situation for us. The MPs pointed out the recent controversy surrounding the DP's aborted trip to Uganda in company of a Turkish investor Harun Aydin, who has since been arrested on terror-related allegations. Should be working in tandem with the president to bring, to bring investment into our country. Yeye akipata investor anaenda nayo Uganda. On his part, the DP and his Tanga Tanga Brigade who attended a church service in Ivasha, Nakuru County, said the government machinery was out to frustrate Ruto's presidential bid. If we had spent the energy, the resources, and the time we have spent in fighting our perceived and real political enemies, we would have had enough time and resources to implement the Big Four and other programs that would have assisted millions of ordinary citizens of the Republic of Kenya. It is Kenyans that we should always remember that they wanted a country where all of us are equal before the law. With exactly one year remaining to the August 2022 general poll, political formations are taking shape with eyes focused on the prize of capturing power after the retirement of President Kenyatta. Give us in minor K24, Nairobi.